Good afternoon. Yeah, my name is Anton McGowan, and I'm just going to give you explain to you this afternoon uh, a short presentation on our project, which we called Namatel. Uh, so I want to first of all explain to you the context, wh how we went around thinking about it, and then finally the project, what it is, and uh, and how it will could work in reality. So, for us, the context is. We're a rural-based practice in Donegal. It's very difficult for us to uh, generate any project without respecting wh where it is that we exist and uh, and how that might drive our thinking. So it's a tourist county, uh, it's a coastal county, it's a mountainous or a hilly, a hilly county. So that, in many ways, uh, forms a lot of our thinking, and uh, co uh, consequently, it has for us with this project. So. Uh, look, w w we're in that coastal zone, which the government itself recognises far back as 2001, uh, when it says, look, if we keep doing it the way we're doing it, we'll, d w w we'll destroy the very thing that we're trying to, uh, trying to get to. So th that was the context uh, for our project when we that we did for the suburban to sub super rural project in 2006. And uh, again, when we started to think about how do we deal with the legacy of uh, the, the or overdevelopment in NAMA, we went back to wh what did we think in 2006, just to give us a little bit of context. And at that time, w we were eating up our coastal towns by developing in this unsustainable fashion. Uh, and we took a case study of uh, a town, Port Salon, and uh, the north of the shores of Los Willy. And in th th that, that was a view in 2000. In 2002, holiday house development started to uh, appear n north of uh, the, the village itself. And we analysed the, uh, the demand for planning applications. And we projected that forward to the year 2030. And if we used the same development pattern, then th 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 that's what that headland would look like. So in 2006, we thought, right, well, we have to find an alternative way of developing it. And we developed the Tideaway uh, model, which, that, uh, which shows the same number of units, but developed in a different, uh, in a different format. I, I, I don't have time to explain all of that to you today, but that was our thinking back in 2006. So when we came out at this time, we thought, well, look, surely everything's a bit different now. The development pressures has gone, have gone. There must be less pressure on our uh, natural resources where, where, where we're uh, established. Uh, but Look, as we developed it, w what we found out was, or what we realised, look, n no, the, the pressures are still there, they're just a little different. You go to these seaside towns, now they're empty houses, uh, they're like ghost towns in the winters, but part of them are like ghost towns in the summer now also. There are vacant sites that are not being developed, there are, we've lost some of our nice historic buildings, where, which uh, mysteriously had a fire on a Saturday night and for safety reasons had to be demolished early on a Sunday morning and now we're left with the legacy of plots that are undeveloped. And we, we have this one on our own doorstep which is a partly built hotel again on, the Los, on Los Willy but at Remelton. And that's uh, how it, it, it's sitting at the shores of Los Willy. Uh, st started with great promise for, uh, 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 for development but it's, it, it sits like that now. So because it's on our doorstep, we decided ourselves, well, let's take that as a case study. If NAMA takes this project over, wh what could one do, uh, or how could one think of it differently? So uh, if you think about the project, that's how it looks and where it's located. It's in, Remel it's in uh, Remelton there in uh, Donegal. And look, it's only there because Remelton exists. It's only there because the road infrastructure is there, because the, uh, the scenery is there, and because the people are there, the community is there. If, if they didn't exist, then this project wouldn't have started in the first place. So we st started to think around, well, how could we do something with the project that benefits the community or the area, the people who, who uh, 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 the reason it's there in the first place? It's probably less than a kilometre from the town centre, so you could walk to it uh, very easily. So we thought, well, wh can we get some... Uh, way of using this for the community. And we said, yeah, well, let's give it over to the community. And you think, right, well, look, how is that going to happen in, in, in reality? Uh, the reality is we would see it for the next at least five to ten years. NAMA won't be able to do anything with it in a way. So uh, if they were to provide it to the community for, to, for them to use it for at least five or ten years, uh, then they could start putting uh, uses into it. But NAMA should do a little more than that. They should provide a project manager to facilitate the community to do it. Otherwise, it may not happen. So they're giving them spaces. They're giving them free uh, access to uh, parts of that building to use. And they're providing a project manager to help the community to establish what uses they want in it. Uh, 
so that, that, that's, the, that, that's the context of uh, how we thought that could be developed. So the facility would be given back to the community, uh, and there are a number of uses that one might start putting in. These are just some things to develop uh, some thinking. You could have holiday house uh, units in it, a restaurant or a cafe in certain units, uh, a community centre, uh, different uses in the different modules that could be extended out into the grounds, c community allotments, individual allotments, market gardens, etc. You could start upskilling the community in various uh, uh, trades, uh, 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 allow them to gr grow their own produce, etc. Exhibition spaces, permanent and temporary. Perhaps there could be one that gives an update on NAMA uh, uh, over the next five or ten years. Uh, campsites again, moving into the grounds and so on. Storage, boat storage, other storage. Sheltered housing, perhaps. So th there's a myriad of uses you could put in there, and there are just some things to give you an idea of it. And uh, if at the end of the five or ten years, NAMA is uh, considered to be the, uh, the biggest property company in the world, if, if at the end of the ten years it, uh, it needs to make a profit, well, if things are going well and it proved to be a good model, it will be making profit from all the other sites that it would have. And there might be projects like this where there's a social profit, uh, profit there, uh, th there's a community profit. And if NAMA is making its money back from a number of its projects, it might leave this one to the community uh, as a sort of uh, uh, a, a gesture to the local people who, who uh, uh, justified it being there in the first place. And if not, then the free usage that the community had would revert back to NAM and they have to make it work so, uh, in some other com commercial f uh, facet. So that, that, that's, uh, that's our contention, na the NAM Thank you.